This video shows you how to decorate your staircase and flower vase with decoration lights to have the runway type effect and also how to set up your Christmas tree. So I will be skimming through the process of setting up the lights in the flower vase but you know basically when you get the hang of it the process is quite repetitive. So ideally I will start by setting up the lights at the base of the transparent flower vase, you know, and sort of like spread the lights out in a circular orientation so that it latches on to the perimeter of the transparent vase, especially in positions where the lights are evident when viewing from the sides of the wall. And so you can see that I'm placing them lights directly on the sides of the glass wall as opposed to the midsection of the field bits. And as soon as I complete one revolution around the side of the flower vase, I will put some beads in and repeat the process, you know, for the subsequent layer. And when I get, you know, the light around the perimeter of the transparent flower vase, I'll put some bit more beads in and, you know, repeat the process until the beads fill up the flower vase and all of the lights have been evenly distributed around the perimeter um, of the transparent flower vase. So you can see that one band of light has been set around the perimeter of the glass wall. So I'm pouring in more beads, you know, so that I can set up another band of light around the perimeter of the glass wall, whose locus or provenance will sit directly above the initial um, band of light that was installed at the lower strata or layer of the beads, okay? This is just for demonstration purposes, but ideally I would fill up the beads, you know, to the top of the vase, and you know, also set up lights around the perimeter of the glass wall until all the revolutions of the light beads around the perimeter of the glass wall gets to the height of the vase in line or in succession with each strata or layer of the filled up beads. So pretty much, you know, set up your lights in the mains, stick the lights in the vase around its perimeter, you know, till it gets to the top. And that's pretty much it, really. Then stick your flowers in and that's um, the vase decoration done. And here you can see that the flowers will be inserted. You know, you can set your lights to be static or blinking, you know, whatever preference you choose. You can alter the state, you know, by adjusting, you know, the lights or selecting a different lighting up sequence. So here I have got some drawing pin, round push pins, you know, thumb tacks, which I will be, you know, sliding through both stranded wires that supply power to the white light emitting diode. Just make sure that, you know, both stranded wires hold on to the push pin and that when sliding the push pin through, it doesn't damage the wire or punch at it. Push fit the push pin and the stranded wire into the skirting board, but don't overly push it down so that it doesn't damage the wire, okay? The next step would be to push fit the wire or tuck it in between the adjoining line just before the riser and the thread nosing. So you can see that, you know, I will be tucking in the light in between, you know, both steps. So here I'm using my hands, but you know, to aid or facilitate, you know, how you ramp up speed, you know, you could use like a ruler to insert or to push the wires in. Because if you do use your hands, you know, with time your hands will begin to hurt um, due to friction. So by all means, use a ruler if you can find one to push the wires in or tuck them in between both steps. The idea is tuck the wires in between the fibers or the grains of the carpet, you know, leaving out the white light emitting diodes. And so once we have established the path that we want the light to follow, we install a position to push pins through the stranded lights, uh, you know, at the opposite ends of the line, separating both steps. And so the pattern for the decoration lights line of travel, you know, all through the way from the bottom of the step up to the top of the step is serpentine or snake like okay so it, it goes from left to right and from right to left and from left to right repetitively so we're going to be repeating or reproducing the process of fitting both pins at both ends every time the lights make one serpentine turn from left to right and from right to left as the positioning pattern is established okay
And so you can see that you can trace the decorations light path from the left hand side, you know, comes up the stairs to the right, okay, so it follows that path to the right, then climbs up to the left, okay. So when the wire comes up to the last riser, you know, on the top of the landing of the stairs, you know, we run the remainder of the wire all the way down through the skirt in on the right hand side, okay. And begin to push fit the push pins, you know, at equidistant positions, you know, um, so that, you know, the wire is evenly distributed on the skirting. So just distribute the push pins, you know, so that the wire is sat in position. And you can see that the lighting is beginning to take the runway effect. For the left lighting runway effect, we plug a different lighting into the socket, you know, at the top landing and run the stranded wires, you know, through the door frame post, okay, from the bottom to the top in an N shape, okay, so this is the stranded wire coming all the way down with push pins setting the decoration light, you know, in a static position around the door frame, okay, so that comes all the way down through the skirt in and, you know, glides back up, you know, onto the other um, door post, so it comes underneath the radiator, stretch out the wire so that it's uniform and sleeve it into position, you know, with the aid of your push pins, okay, so that it's sat properly on the skirt in. Then replicate the process on, you know, the subsequent door frame on its path. And as you can see, the runway type effect is beginning to take place. So we've just originally slaved them into position. We're going to, you know, install more pins to give it that rigid flush connection against the door frames. And you can see we're pretty much almost done, you know, with the runway type effect over the door frame. Although preference is subjective, if you've got little ones in the property and they wake up to seeing this on the day they're opening up them prezzes, you will give them something to think about, <laughs> okay? You know, but the idea behind running, you know, the lights over the door frames, um, you know, is to trace its line of travel or path down to the left hand and pane or section of the stairway, okay? And as you can see, if we trace, you know, the decoration lights all the way down to the bottom of the Newell post or the base of the top landing, you can see that we're running it through onto the left hand pane or the left section of the staircase. So we're still going to run, you know, push pins into the corners or width of the landing where the decoration lights um, travel or pass through. And you can see the runway type effect, you know, all the way down the stairs, you know, but in this case, we're not doing the serpentine thing with the with the left handed lights, you know, as the light on the right hand side has taken care, you know, of the serpentine effect that we want to establish on the staircase. And that's previously highlighted after running the serpentine pattern, you know, on the stairs, run the remainder of them decoration lights on this curtain on the right hand side, which is what you've got here. So that it runs all, you know, all the way down on a straight line path. Never mind the crack on the caulking, there is a clip in the channel which shows how to fix that. And, you know, at the right hand side where the decoration lights, you know, caves down, you know, I've used two pins to support it there so that, you know, um, it's set into position sturdily. And the last step would be to stretch out the decoration light and install more pins so that it's got an aesthetically more pleasing look, okay? So where you see any slack, you know, stretch the decoration light out and install more pins to keep it in a sturdy and steady position. Flush against the door and skirt in. And, you know, this is the end result. You know, it looks absolutely brilliant. Doesn't matter if you've got the lighting on or you've turned off or switched off the light. It looks fantastic, okay? But like I said, you know, preference is subjective. So this might not be the type of thing for you, but, it, you know, it, it does work for me, okay? And so here, we haven't just got the door frames buzzing. We've also got the staircase buzzing and we've got, you know, the flower vases, you know, buzzing. And you, you can replicate this, you know, wherever you want to in the property. You can also replicate this in other, you know, flower vases. But, you know, I just keep it conservative and, you know, I apply it to the staircase, to the door frames here and to the flower and um, vases. OK, so the last step would be to visually inspect all of that hard work to see if we actually got, you know, the serpentine feel to it. And, you know, if we also managed to replicate, you know, the runway effect and you can see um, it's clearly visible. It's more like, you know, you're landing your aircraft. The stairway 
or staircase is well illuminated and it's got a dazzle effect, you know, a runway type effect to it. And if we visually inspect the installation process from the 6 o'clock position looking upwards to the 12 o'clock position or northwards, we can see that, you know, the serpentine um, display is well enacted, okay? And we can also see that, you know, it's got the runway type effect to it, both on the left hand and right hand pane, and in between, you know, both steps, right just before the um, thread nose and the um, riser. You know, look out for any loose um, push pins, you know, at the right or left hand side or any pins that's just lurking or loitering about. Remove them from the passage area and make sure that it is safe and healthy um, for passage through. And as you can see, I have also installed the shiny tin cell on the handrail to give you that dazzle and, you know, more of that bright spark to it. OK. And so we're pretty much done with the decorating of the door frame, you know, the handrails, you know, the steps, the flower vase and the skirt in as well. OK, and that's, you know, pretty much the decoration on the top and bottom landing done, you know, but after installation, just keep carrying out routine risk assessment, you know, from time to time when walking past, you know, just to make sure that you, you haven't got any pins that have been dislodged. If they have reinstalled them, if they're not supposed to be there, take them away because, you know, you never know with kids, do you? As long as you're not throwing caution to the wind, um, you should be fine, okay? And, you know, once, you know, the festive season is over, you know, to take the decorations um, off, you know, just get the flowers out, you know, um, from the vase. Disconnect the right runway decoration lights from the main socket, you know, and, um, you know, salvage, you know, your lighting decoration for, you know, the next season, if you're going to use it still. So that's pretty much the lighting from the vast removed. So we're taking out the lighting from the back of the calyx and, you know, just rolling up, you know, most of the, the wire length that we've got protruded in, you know, from the back of the calyx. Then get a robust um, staple remover, you know, to get the push pins off of the skirting, okay? The staple remover facilitates or ramps off the process of removing them push pins, you know, from the wood or the skirt in from their installed positions in situ. Make sure that you collect all the pins, you know, in a container or, you know, segregate them in a particular location and make sure that you visually inspect, you know, the stairway or staircase to make sure that you haven't got any of these pins loitering around. Do a vacuum of your staircase once you're done. You know, look for look out for any push pins that haven't been uninstalled or dislodged, you know, put them into a bowl if, if you can but just make sure that you haven't got any pins and buried I doubt that you'd have pins buried in the fiber of the carpet it's highly unlikely because they're quite um, large pins but you know you never know just make sure that you know you do a clean sweep of the staircase once you're done okay you can always reassemble or reinstall the decoration you know during the next festive season but put it away in your storage okay and that's about it really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Goodbye.